here, and it doesn't really matter that much what you are. Thing is, you just want to end the fight as soon as you can. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Dun, 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 dun. Second wind. Recover from KO status. So it gives you re-raise one time. Ignore elevation. Move to tiles of any height. Regardless of jump attribute. Equip armor. Equip spears. You know how it is. Do, 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 do. We mastered... Dragoon. What should we be next? I guess we could be Samurai. <laughs> it has abilities. Ajura. A technique that releases the spirit in, in, in the user's katana, causing an unseen specter sword to slash at the target. Kotetsu, a technique that releases the spirit in the user's katana, lousing a wave of howling dark spirits to damage MP. Fun. So the way samurai abilities work, you basically use katanas in your inventory to do special attacks. And there's a chance that, that the weapon will end up breaking. So that's how that works. Following a warrior ethic from a foreign land, the samurai uses draw techniques to attack with his or her katana. So you get d double hand and you have holy. So to unlock samurai, you need dragoon level 4, monk level 4, and archer level 3. I don't know why archer level 3, but that's how it goes, man. That is just how it goes. Apparently Samurais can have bows. That is not what we want, though. And you double-armed Samurai, so you can't have shields because of that. Diamond bracelet. Abilities, that pretty much works. Mystic. Da, na, 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 na. Blind Ga! Hex Mag that robs the target of sight, reducing the success rate of their physical attack. Silence Ga! Hex Mag that robs the target of speech, rendering them unable to cast magics. Break! Hex Mag that turns the target's body into stone. Noise. Toad! Hex Mag that turns its target into a toad, or reverts a toad to its natural form. So you can use it to heal Toad if you want. That's pretty exciting, if you ask me. Do, do. No, you can't learn that. Which is stupid. Monk! Jack Booze, Brawler, Abandon, Ignore Water. The Monk has been mastered! Do do do. Oh, you can become a Geomancer. I think we're gonna do that. Dun, 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 dun. Gives you different... Elemental abilities, depending on the land you're on. Sinkhole. Do, 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 do. We're gonna be up on a roof, so... That might work. Contortion, a geomancy skill that inflicts damage with the power of stone. And each one has a different status effect. So that's kind of a thing. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I didn't change. Never mind. I need to change first. You little bastard! Geomancer, a warrior who uses geomancy to control powers lying dormant in the natural terrain. So you get attack up and swim, and you have Earth. You unlock it with Monk level 4. We get a Geomancer. They can use axes. D 
Dun, 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 dun. And maces if you want. And swords, of course. I actually thought you could use bows, but apparently not. Oh, that does slow. Apparently. And of course, axes do do random damage. So, it's something you want to be aware of. I think the maces do as well. Gold hair, pen, power garb. We don't want that. We'll give you purple magic, since you have more MP, so you can actually use those other abilities. Might as well. Agrius! Everybody knows it's Agrius! There you go. Get you some jump ability. Luso the Orator! We got an egg, apparently. It's always fun. Shadow's probably one of the best things to have. Drone on. Bewilder. Allure. A lot of these aren't really that great or anything, but they do exist, so... That's pretty much good, okay. Well, let's go for this. Let us go for this, man. Like I said, this is both the hardest and the easiest fight in the game. And you will see why. Do, do, do. Oh, you can only have four in this fight. That's about stupid. Um... You can only have four! Didn't you know? There are treasures here, none of which are really that important. I wouldn't recommend even going for them, because I would recommend focusing on killing... killing the enemy as quick as you can. And all you have to do is bring a any of the characters' a a HP low, and and it'll end the fight automatically, I, I believe. After all I've done for you, you now repay me with betrayal. You owe me your life, you ungrateful wretch. You would not stand here today were it not for me. Did you prefer digging through sordid heaps of rubble, or have you already forgotten that? Oh, I recall that quite clearly. It was after you burnt our village, was it not? Shortly after you murdered my mother and father, and everybody else. It is not with betrayal I repay your deeds, it is with vengeance. She's got a sword for some reason. <laughs> He's got a gun! Vengeance? You truly believe that you are capable of exacting vengeance on me? I am your father, Rafa, the man who raised you from a girl. You cannot kill your own father, though you are welcome to try. Ha ha ha, you cannot do it. Do you know why? The flesh remembers, Rafa. It remembers fear, cold, and trembling. But it will not always be so. In time, your fear will blossom into another flower, and I shall have that one as well. It's true, isn't it? Merrick! You meant the words you spoke just now. You turn on me as well, Merrick. You truly are an ungrateful lot. I'll kill him! I will! Rafa, no! Oh! 
Defeated! Merrick! Speak to me, Merrick! Oh, Father, no! Rafa! Merrick! You must be Ramza. Move no further. If you wish to help your brother, Rafa, bring me the orosite he carries. It should be on his person. Check his robes. Yes, that's it. Bring it to me. Quickly now, I grow impatient. Uh-oh. What the... Ah! Ah! Uh! Oh, he just got tossed aside like... Like he was nothing. I wonder if you would not relinquish it to me instead. Marky Elmdor? I thought you... Apparently he's alive. No, dear. This is not a game of hide the stone. Bring it here. Guard yourself, Rafa. Those are no humans. Uh-oh. You must be the heretic, Ramza. It's Sephiroth, didn't you know? I suppose I owe you my thanks. Forgive me for not expressing my gratitude sooner. I would have you know I am not a violent man like Fulmar. Will you not yield the stone of your own accord? I do so hate to see blood spilt needlessly. Spare me the struggle, and I shall be glad to ask Fulmar to return your young sister. What have you done with her? Mayhap I did not make myself clear. I would have the stone, if you would speak more of that. I cannot let worry sway me. It must not go to him. An adoring brother you must be, to trade your sister for a stone. After all you faced in coming here, you leave her to her fate. I have no words for you. Indeed, it seems the time for words is past. Celia, Letty, the girl carries the orosite. Take it from her corpse. So, of course, in the PS1 version, Letty's name was, I think, Liette. Protect Rafa. So, yeah, these... These enemies are incredibly dangerous and can kill you in one turn, basically. You can literally lose the fight in one turn. That's why you you, you want to end it quick. By... Of course, you'll automatically win if you... Reduce e either of their HP by half, I think. Something like that. So he's an Arcanite. A warrior sworn to the service of the gods, using the sword spirit ability to release a wave of spiritual energy. So so he's kind of like an upgraded samurai. Draw out. Arcanite job command releases the spirit contained within one's blade. Guess what's first strike? Attack preemptively before being attacked. So I think he can attack before you hit him or something like that. Miramasa. Referred to as a demon sword, this katana was said to drink the blood of countless enemies. It's, it, if you're able to survive it and you have a thief, it's a good idea to steal that, but that's probably not going to happen. And these two are assassins. A diabolical killer trained by an order of assassins to quickly dispatch enemies with subdual arts. Assassin Job Command employs the Sinister Arts of Execution, so they have attacks that can automatically stop someone, or or automatically kill them. So that's how they can kill you so quick, and I don't know why they have JP up. Spellbinder. A sword that can stop its target from retaliating. It can do Disable. But of course they have Dual Wield, which sucks. And Barrette, so you can't really do most status effects. Kiyomori. What is it? Dual Katana. This exquisitely crafted katana has a beautifully patterned blade and an incredibly cutting edge. Fun. Da, 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 da. So there are items here. I'll just sh show up where they are. Just for fun. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. There's one on the chimney, of course. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One where she is. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One on that chimney. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. There's one down there. Of course, all the items are items that you can buy, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. You pretty much just want to focus on lowering as quick as you can lower one of those HP by half or whatever it is. Before you die, because you will die very quick, and that's just the way it is. 308. If that could hit, that that may, may end in one shot. Not sure, but Spirit Blade. Bado. Rams again to level. Cause I can't really get to anybody from over here. Oh my god, you're floating. Why are you floating? Why do I have wing boots? Damn you. Because, yeah, this is a battle that will go south very quick. That's why you want to end it as soon as possible. It's a fight that can be very easy to end, but it can be, be very easy to die as well. So that's the thing about it. So we can get this item. Might as well. Might as well. Be walking on the sun, and then the morning comes. Kodachi! There you go. There you go! Um... No. That is not what we're doing. Pacific Coast Party! Okay, that is not what I meant to do at all. But I think that'll end that'll I think that'll end the fight regardless. I did not mean to do that. Ah oh, shit. I gotta do this again. Damn you. I can't believe I did that, sir. That would be why. So we're just gonna get out of this fight quickly. So, this is the strength that felled the Gigas. And Kukaline as well. Celia, Letty, come. This this night is lost. If you wish to claim the aura side I hold, Ramza, you would best make your way to Limberry. I shall await your coming there with bated breath. So yeah, you want to end that fight immediately, or you're probably going to die. That's just the way that fight is set up. Oh, Merrick. Merrick died! He got a game over screen and such. So that's why that's both the easiest and hardest battle in, in the game. Ten thousand gil even. And there's another battle pretty much just like it in Chapter 4. So, it's kind of the same deal. So that's a thing. Look, Merrick, a new dawn has risen. Can... can you see it? Do you have it? So often we sat together, talking, waiting for the coming of first light during the Pacific Coast Party. We'd talk of the journeys we wanted to make together, wouldn't we? How, when the war ended, we would go back and visit our old village. You remember, Merrick, don't you? Don't you? Tell me you do. Tell, tell me you'll still go. Wait for me, Alma. Uh-oh. Something's happening. It's probably not good. 
What's this? The Orosite cries with her. It resonates with the grief in her heart. Uyghur's heart was full of sorrow as well, and despair. And those feelings summoned forth. You grieve for him as well? Thank you. No, Rafa! You must not listen to that voice. Uh-oh. What the beep? Do my eyes deceive me? It revived him! Merrick! Rafa, wh where are we? Why... Why am I here? And why am I in my underwear? Oh, Merrick, thank the gods you're alive. Ow! Do you mean to suffocate me? <laughs> That's a shame. They brought Merrick back for whatever reason. A voice called to me in that land of pure white light. Though whose it was, I cannot say. Return, it said to me. Return to the side of the Valiant. The one whose heart beats true. There's the stone that Alma dropped. Perry Volmarv didn't notice it. Because he's a pool expert. Another zodiac stone. But why would it be here? And Walker. You're really slacking on that. I'd thought Orosite a product not of godly fashion, but an issue of hands for Fowler. A gateway of sorts for Lukavi into our world. I know not by whose hand it came to be, but I do not think it's evil inherent. I believe it is the wielder who gives its power shape. Kind of like Nufi. I shall save you, Alma, come what may. Come what may. That's a good song by Stone Sour. Frustration with the stalemate growing, the Order of the Northern Sky recalled its full force from the war's now expansive front. They marched on Fort Be Besselet with plans to turn the tide of the war. That's a shame. Don't you hate when that happens? So now you can recruit R Rafa and Malik if you want. R Rafa is good for treasure hunting since her bravery is low. So, that's kind of a thing. Malik is kind of meh. If you don't have room, I wouldn't really bother with him, but, you know. You can join him if you want. Doesn't matter. We probably won't be using him, but, yeah. Dun 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 So that completes chapter three. One chapter left, I do believe. I have not seen such slaughter. There are corpses at every turn. But your sister was not among them, was she? No, she's not here. They had her in the castle, I'm sure of it. They must have taken her elsewhere during the fighting. Three men from the Templar had arrived not long before you. Three and no more. One became a Lukavi. I killed him myself. Another, Isolude, was slain in the melee. This third must have taken Alma. No doubt he means to bring her to Melande. Melande is the seat of the church's power, and they act as 
They act in High Confessor Marshall's name. Where else would he go? I wonder. I do not think their High Confessor knows the true power of the stones. Consider this. Wegriff did not know their secret until he had struck his bargain with Belias. And by the look of things, Isalud died fighting the Lukavi, Hasty Stephen style. What are you getting at? By inciting this war, the Church hopes to broaden its power. Clearly this is the High Confessor's ambition. But he only wants the Zodiac Stones for their symbolic power, to sway the minds of the people. Do you imply that someone is using the High Confessor's ambition to some other purpose? Probably. This third man in the Templar's party, party, where is he? I cannot say for sure, but I believe it was Lord Fulmarv, commander of the Knights Templar. He is the key. What will you do? I travel to Zeltenia. Delita is there, and I must see him. He succeeded Baron Grimm's in leading the Black Room Knights, did he not? The Church and the Knights Templar manipulate Delita from behind the scenes. With luck, he can shed some light on who this Lord Fulmarv is and what he wants. Pacific Coast Party style. Chapter 4 in the name of love. Dun dun dum. Do 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 do. Uh oh. Zeltenia Castle. That's where we're heading and such. Welcome home, my lord. It's Orlando! Yes, home. You are well? He's like one of the best characters in the game, and such. I am, thank you. What news of the war? None good, as you know well enough. War is a dirty enough affair when you know who your enemies are, but this, ha! Would my good name were our only casualty. I should think Duke Altana's name in greater peril. Thou say his other lords, bannermen, remain here only because you do. Leave such foolish talks to fools. When a member of House Orlando pledges his lord, fealty, he honors that oath, though it costs him his life. I'm sorry, I spoke over much. Words are wind. Now, this errand I set you to, I would hear of it. The reports are true, my lord. The crystal discovered beneath Goog, the stone the late cardinal found in the ruins of Zelmonia, both orosite for true, by all accounts. The Knights Templar, too, are passing busy, though the object of their labors I cannot say. Do our ears in Melande hear nothing? Hear, perhaps, but dead men tell no tales. They certainly don't. If only we had some evidence of the High Confessor's plot, we might use it to compel a peace. He has a stone! This shall not long remain hidden from their gaze. And then the storm will be upon us. That's a shame. But in the meantime, we need to head to Melande. Or not Melande, but Zeltenia. Dugera Pass, which was mentioned in one of the errands in Chapter 3. Nearly 2,000 doms in height, Mount Landria was once used by monks as a holy place of fasting and atonement. The free city of Bervenia. Of course, in the PS1 version, it was called Bervenia Free City. There was a pretty tough fight waiting for us there. Famous as the birthplace of St. Ajora, this city is under direct authority of the Church of Glabados. Finneth Creek. The Theala Peaks reach 6,000 domes in height. The water flowing down them is frigid, even in midsummer. And Zeltenia Castle. Home to Duke Altana, Liege Lord of Zeltenia, this castle was heavily reinforced during the Fifty Years' War.
fun. But I'm gonna go use the facility. I shall return very quickly. Da -na 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 -na. 